hi guys welcome back uh, this is another launcher of the week so just it's quite a long time i haven't filmed outside so i'm just showing you guys of stuff filming with the pixel in the 4k i will be editing that in the you know power link cyber link power director on the phone itself so this is the launcher which is called as a power plus launcher battery saver this is not recommended by me yeah not because in terms of feature in terms of simplicity in terms of fluidity but due to a very critical major but in case you guys are following my twitter you might have seen that thing so anyways so uh, this is the launcher it got a good rated you can see uh, just yeah <laughs> four or five rated hundred thousand download not too great but yeah that's fine it's a good number in terms of rating so this is the launcher it also looks like so you got a couple of uh, gestures feature if you just swipe it down this is the search feature this is app drawer so this launch i did find out due to the post i made a poll on the twitter like people are looking for simple launcher we don't want much customization so you're not going to get any sort of customization so not in terms of dock in terms of text of home in terms of app drawer nothing is there whatever you will get you have to use it that way just a couple of settings here you will get so this is actually enhanced quick cal that you will get in most other launchers system info display they take you to directly display setting launch setting only this uh, two gestures features that you can enable or disable google search and theme uh, is the same one even if you select anything doesn't matter so anyways this is about this thing here now uh, there's no feature like you cannot import it from any other launcher whatever you will get you have to use it in that way so there's no such thing like first time you imported some setting with Nova or action whatever you're using so uh, it looks pretty messed up to me you know each time i navigate folders here and there so if you go inside so you see the usual thing here this is your recent apps and if you just a uh, school animation is here you can see i'll let you guys know at the end why it is now recommended so first off let me show you some important things what they claim actually go read more section power saving fastest ever hibernate apps search whatever you want for organized so they are uh, claiming on the power saving mode so you can see on the desktop even you can see uh, power on till tomorrow it shows exactly that so uh, they calculate the time based on the current battery and all the stuff they have a habinet feature they have a boost feature lock screen is not working always sometimes it does work or not so you just click here they kill all the application it's the boosting kind of stuff uh, let's see apps will restart again so it's not playing for the memory itself it's just like that here so not now so and going inside uh, you do have option you can merge the things from here and there so the folder you can create a folder you can name the folder you don't enter otherwise it go down side click on the back it will that all right now you don't have options to remove this screen you just have to there's no option you cannot even create that set it to home this is default home then all right so this is the second page going inside you do have options some apple like 3d touch you just click here shows you an install app remove section so in that way you can create shortcut of the desktop otherwise there's no way like you can just click and drag and drop it's not quick so this is a different move it's not easy looks great so this is about things overview and doesn't take much things so let me show you a quick battery percentage that it takes so we should go inside you can see power plus launch generally takes 34 percentage in overall so they have a, a good feature called a hibernate so they claim to be you know you can just see the icons here these are the apps that are selected inside the hibernate so once you select them so uh, it's technically it's a hibernate but yeah it's not working at all why because uh, i've used that for more than a week but the first time when i did enable the hibernate feature uh, my phone is at 84 percentage battery so if i have a quick screenshot if i show you this is what i, uh, I figured out you can see uh, the battery consumption is 45 percentage right also uh, when i completely charge my phone till 94 percentage i just locked my phone just to check hibernate feature I left my phone as it is so after three hours when I came. I found complete train to 45% device is so hot. Even changing launcher doesn't work, so I had to reboot. That's how it fixed the problem. So, very, very terrible experience with this launcher in case you install that. So, it may happen when you use a Hibernet feature. So, otherwise, in case you're not going to use Hibernet feature, it's a simple, doesn't take much memory at all in terms of battery, it's fine. So, overall, that's it about this launcher. There's nothing new I figured out, it's simple and cool, but this Hibernet feature, you should not use that. But this is the main feature about this hibernate if you're not going to use it then there's no such use of that launcher and they are highlighting again one important feature never miss important port calls and messages so this launcher provides unread con patch for nearly all the apps so like twitter uh, email whatsapp so it's not working for all the applications so what i till now figured out this is just working for messaging only nothing else you can see i do have a twitter and the whatsapp notification is not working for them 
so whatsapp is now an account twitter is now an account so for some application it is working but they are claiming to work for almost all applications so that's it guys pretty much for this launcher update i'll put the link of the download in the description so also don't forget to check out the old 25 26 launcher that i have to review till now the links will be there in the description so thanks for watching i will catch you very soon have a great day